Hello friends, this video on cell part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will talk about the next important component of a cell that is cell wall. As I had mentioned before, cell wall is present only in plant cells. So this is very important to remember. That animal cells have only one boundary that is cell membrane. Plant cells have cell membrane but outside cell membrane they have a cell wall also. So what is how what kind of boundary is cell wall? So it is a rigid covering outside plasma membrane. Now when we were talking about the cell membrane or plasma membrane, I told you that it is a very thin and delicate boundary. It is not very rigid or strong, but unlike that, cell wall is a rigid covering. So that is an important difference between a cell wall and a cell membrane. So often people get confused with cell wall and cell membrane. So cell membrane, membrane is a bigger term than wall. So a membrane is present in both of them, both plants and animals. But cell wall is only in plants. Now why do plants need a rigid covering? That's because plants are more they're delicate. They have more flexibility. That's why you would have seen that uh, it is very easy to twig. Uh, to tweak the stems of a plant or to break it off because plants cannot protect themselves as such. They cannot move from one place to another. So they need more protection and that is why there is this rigid covering called cell wall. So if you look at a plant cell, this is how a plant cell looks like. So this yellow colored boundary is the cell membrane and just outside the cell membrane you have another green boundary that is cell wall. So now we are talking about the cell wall. So it is not living rigid and fully permeable. So cell wall is fully permeable. That means it, it fully allows that part, the passage of particles across it. So it, it doesn't see which particle is allowed to go, which particle is not allowed to go. So it just allows everything. So it is a fully permeable membrane. So that is why there is a cell membrane inside. Because even though cell wall allows particles, but if that particle should not be allowed to enter, then it will be stopped by the cell membrane. Cell wall is non-living, it is not living and it is rigid. So it, it is just to provide rigidity or mechanical support to the plant cells. So that is the purpose of cell wall. So it is composed of cellulose. So cellulose is the main component like in case of cell membrane it was made up of lipids and proteins but here it is made up of cellulose. What is a cellulose? Cellulose is a type of carbohydrate. So it is a type of carbohydrate. So this is how the structure of cellulose looks like. So this is how it is a very complex structure and it is a polysaccharide that means many small units of monosaccharides or simple sugars get joined together to form this complex branched structure of cellulose. So quickly look at the function of the cell wall. Now this, it is present specifically in plant cells to provide structural strength to the plants. Now why is it that plants need special structural strength? That's because there are many reasons responsible for this. One of this is plants are immobile. So they cannot protect themselves against adverse conditions. For example, if you talk about human beings or you, if you talk about any other animals, now they are capable of moving from one place to another. So if there is a storm, so there is a strong wind blowing suddenly. So what do you do? You tend to run away and hide somewhere or get inside a house. So that's how you can protect yourself. Similarly, if the temperature is very cold or if it is very hot, so you can do something to protect yourself because you have the capability to move. But with plants that is not there, they are immobile. So they are more exposed to the changes in the environment. So they are more exposed to these kind of variations. So therefore, they need to be well protected. And that is why this additional cell wall is present to provide them additional structural strength. So this cell wall is rigid and therefore it gives that rigidity to the plant cell. It also prevents bursting of cells in hypotonic solution. Now just now we discussed what happens in hypotonic solution. Hypotonic, hypo means less. So when 
the concentration of water is less inside the cell. That means the concentration of water is more outside. So what will happen? Water will move from outside to inside. So the cell will start swelling up. Now as a result, what can happen is, if the cell swells too much, it can break. That's because if there is no cell wall, in that case it can break. Because the cell membrane is anyways thin and flexible. But in plant cells, since they have an additional rigid cell wall, so the cells do not burst easily even when it is present in hypotonic solution. What happens in this case is, now as the cell swells, so a pressure is exerted on the cell wall. So cell wall is rigid, so a pressure is exerted on the cell wall. The cell wall, had it been very delicate and thin, it would have bursted. But it is also rigid. So the cell wall will exert a counter pressure. So it will exert an equal and opposite pressure. Therefore, the plant cells can withstand greater changes in surroundings than animal cells. I mean, that is how the plant cells have been equipped, that even though they cannot move, but they will be able to manage with the variations in the environment. So now let us quickly compare the cell wall with cell membrane. Now there are quite a few differences. Let us quickly see. First of all, cell wall is present only in plant cells, but cell membrane is present in both plant as well as animal cells. Cell wall is not living, but cell membrane is living. As I said, cell membrane is present inside. Cell wall is permeable. It allows everything to pass across it, but cell membrane is selectively permeable. It will only allow selective substances and that too, the substances will flow across the cell membrane as per the concentration gradient. Cell wall is rigid. Cell membrane is thin and delicate and it is also flexible. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.